Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is 17th August. 30 days of September. April, no, 9 is September. Today is 17th September and the time is like 2019 and the time is 11.39. I'm trying to summarize everything we've done under graph theory. And this term of minutes and right from the beginning i told the master i talk and say jack you your course has been threatening me this term i no no like i'm not living in this spoon on ten so right from the beginning i've been sitting right in front of him that's what i've been doing and i'm trying to summarize everything i've written down um especially let's say those who couldn't make it in the first and second uh, uh settings hopes it can help in that way too. so <coughs> To start everything, you push this guy to the corner here so that he won't be disturbing us. Now, now that we've gotten him out of the way, everything has been talking about is graph, 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 graph. So the first thing you ask yourself is, uh, what is graph? We know graph, we know histograph, we know um, pie chart, we know all these are graphs. But this is um, computer science math graph. Or like uh, yeah it's, it's it's mathematics and it's not this histograph those things this graph basically means um, paint i'm trying to get paint it means simple points and lines that is the whole story points and lines so if I have something like this, um, this is a point. This is a point. This alone is enough to make a graph. This is still a graph right from this line. So these are two points. If I add it, the main three points. If I add, that is four points. If I add this, that is five points. So if I ask you to describe this graph, then you see this is a graph with five points. That's all. And um, what are the points? Let's see a typical example here. Um, Ghana map. I hope I got the spelling right. Ghana map. In, in practical terms, the points can be anything, like objects. Let me take Ghana map as a, a, a graph. It's a graph actually. If you take Ghana map as a graph, each region, each region is a point. Each region is a point. So whatever objects you are dealing with, those objects become to your point. So if you take, let's say, um, maybe if you want to present, uh, let's say, interchanges in Kumasi or in Accra, then each interchange will be a point. Each interchange will be a point. If you want to present, let's say, rivers in Ghana, then each river will be a point. Each river will be a point. So in that case, the, the paint will be opened. Let me use larger. So if I have this point, let's say I'm to deal with region. So I will say this is Upper East. Then... Which one was I using? So this is a part Haram. Okay, so here should be upper west. I'm just trying to put things in order and then we have here to be upper east. And then here we Upper East. Upper East. Yeah. Or let, let's even pull down the graph. 
hope you can just copy and paste. Yep, we have it. So now this is it. Yeah. <laughs> so we have this is a point. 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 Every region is a point. Every region is a point. Every region is a point. So this is it. So every region is a point. Let's chain this back. And then let me cut this away. So we know what the point is. It can be any object. If you are talking about town, then each town will be a point. If you are talking about stone's position, like children playing, any position, any stone they will position, then that that is a point. Now, in graph theory, point is called vertex. This is it. In graph theory, point is called vertex. So going forward, I will not be saying point, I will be saying vertex. So this uh, graph is made up of the regions are now 16. So let's say 16 points, which in graph theory we say 16 vertices. So this graph has 16 vertices that is 16 point now every region is connected to another region by road so i can okay i think of the brush i use so let's see this brush which color can we use let's, let's use the same black so if you are moving from upper west to upper east there is a road if you are moving from upper east to savannah there is a road from here there is a road from here there is a road then there is a road here 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 from here to Uti. And then from here to here, here to here, we are zooming the capitals. So, um, which we have here, which we have here, which we have here, which we have here, which we have here. There's, there's a road here. I'm zooming there is a one here. Now, this is, let's take off this. And then let's see, there is a road here. So, in this case, road is technically called edge. Each road is called an edge. Each road is called an edge. Each road is called an edge. So, we've seen what a vertex is that is each of the points or each of the towns or each of the objects and then the path or the link connecting the two the lines connecting the two that line is called an edge so we've got in two key terms vertex and edge the whole thing the master has been talking about revolves around vertex edge and something called degree so let's get this concept right from the start the points are the objects, the vertices are the lines, and then we have to see um, the points are the vertices, the points are the vertices, and then the rules linking them are the edges. So let's see another one. Let's say upper west. How many rules lead to upper west? We can see them here. 
let's do the small one this is one road okay, that is much smaller than you need so this road is one this is two and this is three so there are three roads leading to upper west or from upper west there are three different routes you can take to get out of the capital if you take let's say um Kumasi for example what are the possible roads you can take to Accra so um from Kumasi you can go the Konongo as the main road from Kumasi you may choose to go to Tamale to come past Yenji, Yendi, route down maybe to the sent the the Vota, the Uti, go past there, or you can go and pass Obwasi, and then Cape, then you move down there. So these are possible routes you can get to Accra. So what are the roads leading to Upper West? We've seen there are three. So three. And put it here. What about um, Ashanti? How many rows? Uh, rows are not that. So let's see from here. I can go here. I can go here. I can go here. So how many rows? Or like route that you can take to get out of Ashanti region. You know, like how what are the different different if you take Mars for example Ashanti region, you can enter Ashanti region through um it's a Cape Coast here or Boise you enter Ashanti region, that is one. Techiman you can enter, that is the Ophin so from Mampon, that is from Atibu you can enter and then um, so these are the possible routes you can take to enter so from the map we have here we have um, we have one two three four five so for Ashanti region Shanti region we have five. If you take home as a voter, voter home, we have two. And then so basically if you take Polga. Let's add the tanga. It's just one. There is only one road leading to that town. And um, for our presentation purpose, or from this discussion purpose, also, let's try to make one region. Let's block this one. Let's assume, or better still, you can just cut this part to block this one. We want to make an assumption that the like no road leads to Bono and Hafo. That is the assumption we want to make. That's why I'm blocking these ones where well, I could have used the eraser yeah I think I could have used the eraser too and then change the background to this and I think that not exact color but it's okay so for Bono Bono religion zero there is no path there is no route to Bono region. So these are the possible routes you can take to visit each of these towns or in this case objects. Now in graph theory 
you will say Ashanti has Ashanti region has five degrees. Volta has two degrees. Volga has one degree. And then Bono has zero degrees. So these are the three terms. The regions, they represent the points. We are calling them vertices. Then the line linking them, we are calling it edge. And then um, the, how many lines move from one town, like how many lines comes to one of the regions. Then we are calling those ones to degree. So basically those are the three terms that like I don't like it cuts across all the things he talked about. Um vertis edge and then degree. So you know vertis to be the point, edge to be the line, and then degree to be the number of lines at the point. So these are the three key terms that cast across. Let's take note of. Now let's look at something right away from here. <coughs> from upper east, I can from upper east I can go to upper west, and from upper west I can come to upper east. From upper east I can go to the north. Um, that is the northeast. From northeast I can go to upper west. Wow. From Wa, I can come to Savannah, the Damango, and from Damango, I can go back to Wa. It's two way affairs. It's not one way traffic, it's two way. When there is that two way, then that means your graph does not have direction. When you can go back and forth, then your graph doesn't have direction. And then in that case, you call it undirected graph that means it does not have direction but if you give a direction you make a warning that no you can only move from Wa to savannah you can move from savannah back to Wa. then you will say it is a directed graph which in other words you call it die graph So basically that is that is it for directed and undirected graph. The whole thing I've realized is you'll be working uh, how many points, how many vertices does the graph have, how many edges does it have, and then how many degrees does it have. And you might be told to do it separately. Like they can give you a graph is directed. They can give you a graph it's not directed that is it doesn't have direction as to which which where to move from which uh, region to which region it doesn't have it that way so basically that is that is it for this now with that out of we've seen um vertices we've seen edge and then we've seen degree and we know that is to mean a point we know um, edge to be a line and then we know this to be a number of lines at a vertex number of lines at a vertex So these are the terms we've gotten so far, and we've seen that you can move from point A to B. If you can move from point A to B, and then from point B to A, that means there is no direction in your graph. So we call that one undirected graph. And if it's just one way, then it's called directed graph. And to know whether it's directed or not directed, there will be an arrow on the graph. 
to indicate you a direction of which path to make so that is that is it for the book of you now that aside the next thing that will come up going forward is uh, they call it graph traversal graph traversal he talked about it later in, in in the day it wasn't one of the early things but i realized he kept using the terms so i feel like it's earlier you get the terms and then so that going forward you understand those things now there is this term called walk that's the normal walking we do or like in the case of this region we can't say we are walking let's say we are moving from uh, upper west to upper east and then to um, savannah to here 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 so we can move from each of the regions to the other no one there's no cave anywhere we can go we can come back we can go to upper east twice we can go to upper west four times we can go to northern region five times and then when going to northern region we can decide to pass on um, this road we can decide to take this road we can decide to take this road and then come back here and then go here maybe come back here go here and then there's no path here of course come back and then um, go here go here come back here there's no path here so we can go come back here 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 we can try this um, this town is this we come back we go which town is this we go and see the town we come back come here nyama 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 walking you can visit any district or like any region any number of times you can take any route any number of times these are two key conditions you can visit any region any number of times you can visit uh, you can I mean, when you are visiting you can take any route any number of times so you can take any remember the root is the edge so edge any any number of times and then you can take you can visit any region or which in this case we are calling vertices in a number of times very two key things you can visit any edge that is road you can take any of the road in number of times and then you can visit any of the regions in a number of times that is called a walk so that type of traversa is called a walk there is another one called trail the same way you are walking but there is a condition there is a condition you can visit each region any number of times but you cannot use same route twice this is very important walk you can visit any region any number of times for and then you can take any road any number of times remember the road is the edge the vertices um, the region are the vertices so for a walk you can visit any vertice any number of times and you can walk or you can walk yeah you can walk on any of the edges any number of times for a trail you can visit any vertice any region any number of times but don't take a road twice that that is it 
then now if while doing your trail if you are able to start and end at the same region then it's called a circuit c-i-r-c-i-t if you are able to start and end at the same region then your trail is called a circuit Uh, yeah, some of the words like every farm, you know, 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 your start is equal to your end. Your start is equal to your end. That is a trail. And remember the code, the key condition for a trail. You can't visit, you can't take the same route twice. That makes it a trail. But you can visit. A region or a vertex twice. Now, the, from there you come to something called path. Remember, all these are walk. The mother one is the walk. Visit any region any number of times. Take any road any number of times. Then below it there is a trail. That one visit any region any number of times, but don't take any road twice. Then, if you are going with this condition and you are able to start and end at the same region, for example, from here, um, let's say um, I'm here, I visit this once, I've gone here, uh, there is no, this path is blocked. So, let's say from here, I've come here, that's I visit that edge once, come here, uh, it's blocked. From here, let's see, I've gone here. Alright. Let's saw something silly. If you cut this off. Okay. <laughs> but that, that's interesting. You realize if we cut this off. Then the graph is divided. Or the, re the, the the country is divided. If this is off, then it's on wavy. There's that north and this side because there's no road connecting them. I just realized. It. I just realized that it's either you make some connection here or connection here. If not, right from top, you can go anywhere again when you get to this region. But that is an important concept you experience later where it's separated that way so um, let's see for a path a path has two conditions you know the, the whole condition revolves around edge and vertex the regions and the path the rules connecting them and if you can visit any region any number of times any vertex, any um, through any road, any number of times, then you have a walk. It's called a walk. And if you can visit any region any number of times, but you can't take a road twice, then that is called a trail. And if you are start going through this trail, if you're able to start and end at the same place, then it's called uh, a circuit. And the next step is what is called a path. A path visit region once. Visit um, each road once. 
the trail is each road once but you can visit each region any number of time the other strict rule is each road once and each um how do you call it each region once if you're able to do that then it's called uh, a path we visited each vertices once through each road once and that is a path if you are able to visit each vertices a number of times um, but only one road at a time then that is called uh, a trail and if your start and end of the trail is the same and you call it a circuit so circuit is just an example of a trail where your end and your the start journey and your end journey are the same so that is it for for path here and in a path if your start and end is the same then that is also called circle cycle i keep confusing that to cycle so these are the key terms um a walk you are going from region to region you take your car say you are in your your Lazarus car or whatever you are using just visiting regions you can pass any road anywhere that nonsense walk that is called a walk and if there is a rule that no you can visit uh, each region any number of times you want but the road don't apply it don't apply it twice then in that case that is called a trail and that trail if you're able to trail from Ashanti region and then all come back to Ashanti region then that is called a circuit the key thing between a circuit and this is a path is okay there you can get two things now let's say that between a circuit and a trail trail you can visit each region no trail your start and end it are not the same but for a circuit your start and end it are the same circuit is just a typical example of a trail with a special condition that your start and end should be the same so these are the key terms that i realized it kept coming uh, it kept coming uh, but i didn't define them at the beginning of the of the lecture so these are the key things right from the beginning he talked about now then we are going to um, now we've seen this graph let's see something here there's another layer we are going let's see somewhere here if you take um there is this possibility that is from second D to to Cape Coast there are two roads connecting the two this is one and then this is another one so there are two roads connecting those two towns, Second D and then Cape Coast. So that is, I mean, it's possible, practically it's possible. There are some towns, there are so many ways you can pass to get to that same town. Let's say from, um, let's say Kumasi to be quiet. You can pass at Atonsu, that is those in Ashanti region, you can pass at Atonsu and then you can pass at Santasi. Or will take you to the quiet. You pass at Santasi, you can pass at uh, thing. Anyang Panta from a year, Anyang Panta, then you can go to the quiet. And if you pass at Atonsu, Kuntanasi, uh, uh, Kukufu, then that will also take you to to be quiet so there is that possibility and since the graph is a presentation of this real object then in, in our case too we can have it take note of that now another thing is type of movement <coughs> for example um 
let's say you are applying a road let's say um assuming this is not like towns and then um can i open another one not this let's say you are applying a, a road you can get to a place See, this is a runabout you are coming from here you get here oh there's a runabout so there is this possibility of you going back let's see your graph is a graph of runabout so from here there is this runabout and then the road continues there's another runabout and then let's see here there is no runabout let's see there is something like this so when you move from here point a to let's say point b run about b your walk or your drive when you get here you can go this way no that's wrong drive so from here you can come this way and then you go this way but there is possibility to write when you get here like have put a dodge koti you reach and realize kai there is some koti here so right from here kai instead of going this way you turn come on you've come back so there is runabout you did here this is another typical case in a graph you need to take note of there is that possibility that is one thing and the uh, two rows connecting the two towns i'm talking about let's say from here you can have something like this so this uh, this particular food bridge or whatever it is you can pass here and get there and you can pass here and then get there too this my design becoming like some object very scary looking at it looks like i so this is two cases we are looking at one you can have runabout and then two you can have um two rules leading to same point these are two special cases you can have runabout and then you can have two rows leading to the same case with this understanding we can move to um this another topic that is the types of graph we have and these are the key things that separate them the ability to do that around about and then the ability to go to a point through different path from point a to point b there are more than one path to get there take note it's not the same as this this is different there are three roads emerging from this upper west but they lead to different destinations if you had gotten a case like this so in that case from savannah to upper west we are having two road leading to that same town that same point not like um let's say you can pass here get here and then you can also pass here and then you get here there are two different roads just the immediate town or the immediate vertex there are two roads connecting them these are two things if you have two roads connecting or two edges connecting the two points or yeah then it's called um, parallel yeah then the two are called parallel edges or the parallel row and then this scenario where you can do runabout at the vertex then that scenario is called self loop we are not here yet i'm just explaining these two concepts 
that will help us to understand what we need to know about the two types of graph. So in here, the types of graph, we have simple graph and then we have more graph. And the difference is just these two guys, the parallel edges and then the self loop. And you know the parallel to me, two edges from one point to another. So this one, no parallel edges and no self loop. Then this one has parallel edges and then we have which English we may have or may has may have is that right may have okay self loop so if it has only self loop it's still multi if it has only parallel it's still multi if it has both it's still multi if it has none it's a simple graph so i remember he did some graph drawing and access to identify them whether it's self whether it's simple graph or it's, uh, it's a complex graph and that is simple he did something like this um, um, mm, mm, mm. he did something like this let me see the design this is a point then this is another point and then we have point C now we have a uh, fuck we have this point then we have this point then we have this point and then we have this point so here is a here is b and then here is c and then here is d so it like that describe the above graph and if you are describing a graph remember right from the beginning i talk about the things we, we are considering the the point the number of points it has the number of edges it has the and then the degrees it has so going by that vertices a b c d that is one two three four so vertices we have four the edges are the lines so we have one two three four five six one two three four five six one here two here three here four here five here six here right good but it's not like that take note wherever there is a self loop taking care of there are two lines there remember this if i am standing here or whoever is standing there if you are standing wherever you are standing there are two rules for you wherever you are standing on this circle you have to move so any point you are whatever is ending if only is a self loop remember there are two rules there so here our counting this alone c alone will give us 
two for the loop then one for line b c another for line c a another for line c d and remember a to b there are two ways to get there so that is two we have two lines there we have three we have four we have five and the c self loop gives us two so one two three four five plus two that is seven so we have edit seven now the third one is degree how many degrees like the degree is how many lines convert at a point or diverge from that how many rows lead to that town so if you come here at this point we have this 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 all emerging from a so for degree a has three b has three c has remember the loop itself gives three before b c or c b c a and then c d three so one two three that is five and then the d there is only one line that connects d so d is one if there was another point here and then let's see we call that one e that would have been that would have had a degree of zero but that would have changed the number of vertices we have that would have changed the vertices to one two three four to five so that would have changed the vertices to five but since there is no line connecting that to any other line to any other point then our edges will not change the number of rows we have will not change but if there was a line connecting this to let's say here that will have also change the number of edges we have so you can have a point or a vertex and there is no line connecting it you don't have any edge connecting it a typical case is this one so in that case this is called isolated vertices it has zero edge there's no line connecting it it's not connected to any other point and if it's uh, if, if it's connected to only one line just like d you know d is connected to just one and i think that is called tangent or something like that incident yeah it's called an incident so this is an incident it has only one and if it doesn't have at all then it becomes an isolated but you can see a graph doesn't have a vertex a graph can be there it doesn't have an edge but you can see a graph doesn't have a vertex it doesn't work that way it definitely has to be a town it has to be a region or it has to be that point but possibly it's isolated there is no line connecting it there's no edge connecting it and if there is an edge connecting it and just one edge one line then it's called an incident uh, when i google this you know these things came up um, the previous one
adjacent adjacent vertices and the adjacent uh, vertices edges you know the whole term revolves around edge vertex and then um, um degree see something if you say adjacent then that means uh, a paddy paddy that is all the one is connected to that that is all what adjacent means so if you come here d and c are adjacent vertices d and c are adjacent vertices c is connected to c again that is the south loop so you can see c is adjacent to c c and a are connected directly from vertex to vertex there is an edge connecting them so you say a is adjacent to c um, the, yeah and then a and b a is adjacent to b so you say these are adjacent vertices a vertex a is adjacent to vertex b uh, vertex a is adjacent to vertex c vertex c is adjacent to vertex b that is C is adjacent to that is D so which line they are connected by the edge that is all then you also have adjacent vertices uh, adjacent edge what I've said is adjacent vertices um, we are dealing with the points so they are connected point one point two they are connected point two point three connected I mean they are adjacent if you see adjacent edge, see something here. Blah, 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 blah. That means the two edges, the two lines, are connected by a common vertex. That is the whole thing. The two lines have a connection and they are connected by one vertex. So this is one line, this is another line. They are connected by this vertex c so you see edge dc is adjacent to edge edge cb is adjacent to edge cd this is adjacent mm -hmm. to this if you come to b this is b b is connected c this is one edge this is another edge so you see edge A B is adjacent to edge B C. That is what adjacent means. There are two terms, adjacent vertices and then adjacent edge. If it's adjacent vertices, then you are dealing with the point. And that is where two points are connected by an edge. But if it's adjacent edge, that's where two edges are connected by one uh, vertex. Let's try to put that down here. So these are the types of graph we've done with that, and then um, adjacent. So let's say um, a vertex with no edge. We call it isolated uh, vertex. And I'm using for you know vertex, and then um, a vertex with one. Edge is called a uh, incident a vertex with one edge is called incident vertex. Then we have a um, adjacent vertex. So two vertices are adjacent if the if both connected if both are connected but connected by um the vertices are connected by an edge and then um adjacent edge the two edges are connected by the vertices. Then that is it for 
is too damn too. So that is that is it. And the description um the one we were solving. We were told to describe this graph, so we were on it. The vertices, when we introduce isolated vertices, I mean the vertices are now five, the edges remain seven because there's no line connecting this to here or maybe to here to here. No. You can it has to connect to another edge. It's not anywhere at all. So there's nothing like that. So this remains the same. And then um these are the degrees, the number of lines moving from or coming to. You know, this doesn't have direction, so you can say it any way we we want. So that is that is it for this now another in describing there's another thing you have to list like the set of vertices the set of vertices so we know the vertices are five so what are they so that is the set so um this is set of vertices the, the vertices are a b c d and then e. that's all and then set of edges and then then that one too you know edges two points make an edge two points you have this point this point and then there is a good line connecting them then you have an edge yes okay so that is it so the edge we have a b we have a we have b and there's a line connecting them so we have a b not the set so a b b and c are connected so we have b c as another edge and then c and a are connected so we have c a and then c and d are connected so we have c d but remember the edge the vertex c has a self loop so that means there's another line there connecting to a self so c connects to c again so this is these are the edges we have for this one So these are the set of vertices and these are the set of edges and we've seen for each vertex the the number of degrees that we have at that point so that is it for this this graph now let's see if we can get another graph to deal with um, let, let, um, let's see if i do this graph uh, too bad okay so let's say we have this this is a this is b this is c and then this is d so if we are to describe this graph we know the vertices that is the points we have they are four there's the number of vertices you can see number of vertices we have four then we have number of edge that's the lines that one too we have four then set of vertices if it's said that means your curly bracket has to come we have a b c d the same as the one we just did and then we have set of edges it's set so we have um, there's the lines how are they connected we have a b we have b B, C, we have C, D, then we have D, A. You can also list your set as um, A, D, D, C, C, B, and then D, A. That, that too is fine. But you know, D is not connected to B. So there's no way you can list something like D, D, that's not how they are connected there's no edge there's no line connecting those two vertices so we have c b and then b a now i went both ways if you look at what we just did no 
the first one I listed, I went this way, this way, and this way, and then came back. And then second one, I went this way, this way, this way, this way, and then came back. Either way is right. And the reason is because our graph is not directed. We don't have arrows telling us which direction we should go. So we can choose to go a way that suit us. So that way, or that way, that way, and then that way. So this is whichever way go because the graph is not directed. So that is it. We describe this graph, and then you can also add that it's a simple graph because we don't have. Um, there is nothing like a line here, or there is nothing like uh, a self loop here. There is nothing like that in it. So it's also a simple graph. I think that will be fine to begin with. So it's a simple graph. Then the number of units stated, the type of graph, the number of vertices, the number of edges. Then the sets. Let's add this one here. Then the number of de the degrees. I think it won't fit here. So I'll. See degree so let's say degree a is two that the number of lines that comes to a is two so degree b and that one two is two degree c that two is two degree d and then that two is two so these are the properties of the graph that we have to state so let's modify it a bit <coughs> now assuming there is this line connecting this to this that changes the property a bit the the vertices will remain the same but there's one more edge now there's one more edge now that we have to state and that will also affect the set of edges we will now have an edge of uh, d as part of the edges we will list for for that so that is that is it for describing graph and it could be any type of graph for let's see if we use triangle the same way if they say we have a B and then C. The vertices are A, B, C. So you leave the set of vertices. It's a simple graph, of course, because there's no loop. There is no um, para edges. So the, and the settings are A, B, C, and then the set of edges are A, B, B, C, and then C, A, or A, C, C, B, B, A. And we are choosing to go whichever way because the graph is not directed we don't have arrows on it so whichever way we want we can go then one more thing um there's a the best way to present this nonsense i've been doing how i've been stating the edges and other things mostly we were told to do it in the tabular form so something like this we write a table like this 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 so this is vertices uh, vertices and then here will be the degree so that is for the degree aspect so we have the vertices a we have b we have c and then the degree here is two that is the number of lines coming to that and then this is two and then this is two so mostly this is how it is and then you, you total it you lose some line here and then you, you, you put your total there at six so this is, this is how it, it, it is the best way to present it is this way in a tabular form after stating the degrees you have uh, let's say four vertices we have four edges or we have six and then you list the set you list the set of vertices you list the set of edges 
the degree is going to present it this way, and that is called a vertex degree function. This table is how you turn this vertex degree vertex degree function. That is that is how this table is called vertex degree function. So if you are told to write a vertex degree function, basically they are asking you. Uh, what is the degree for every vertex? But they want to tabulate it in, in this format. That is that is all what it is. So that is that is so far. Um, we've seen adjacent, we've seen loops, we've seen um, a simple graph, we've seen a multi graph, and then. Um, Let's see this final graph as another example of um, graph you can describe. Um, it looks like this. So here is a point. Here is a point. Here is a point, and then here is a point. So let's name them um, A, B, C, D, or it can be one, two, three. One, two. Yeah, one, two, three will work, but I'm just thinking if you have to list the sets. If you write one, two, that will sound, that will sound like 12. <laughs> let's. Let's use A, B, C, D, or any other thing. So we have A, B, C, D. So we have it this uh, way. But have you seen it in your no. statement? No, I've not seen it. Uh, even on the so uh, um, vertices. 26. So, let's see. Yeah. Number of vertices we have one, two, three, four. Number of edges. There's the lines. So we have. Well, one, two, count number three, six four, two five, eight six, one one three thousand two three one three. Then we have. Um, the degrees. Uh, so I can't even put here. And then the degree should be the vertex degree function. So in that case, no, okay. I'm going this way. I'm going this right. way. And then here will be the vertices. And then here will be the degrees. So this is A, B, C. And then D, and what the degree, the number of lines that connects A, A is three. Number of lines that connect B, B is four. Take note, this is one, this is two, this is three, and then this is four. So then that is four. At C is three, and then at D is two. This doesn't have an isolated, uh, isolated vertex, uh, and it doesn't have a, uh, incident vertex. So that is the description we've given, and then the set. So the the set of vertices uh, we have set so A B. D. And then set of edges we have A, A, B, B, C, A, B, B, C, then C, D, and then D, A. But remember, 
this is a and b has parallel so that has to duplicate here a b and another a b there is d c or c d and another c d so this one will duplicate so let's get this one right again the set of edges and factoring the duplicates so we will have let's go this to be first so we have a b set of um, set of edges so we have a b yes, a b b c c d another c d then d a and another d a so this is, these are the sets of uh, vertices the set of edges that we have that we have and always don't forget to stay the total here so this is uh, 12 this should be a total of 12 and if you somebody degrees you get 12 so that is that is it for <coughs> this type of graphs that is that is how everything goes that's how everything goes uh, well. Okay, let's see last one then we can move to another topic this is let's see this finally there is this design also there is this there is this then there is this yes so we have this one too that we are to describe that we are to describe <coughs> so there we have here a let's see how they went okay there's certainly a from here whichever way will work but I just want to go the way the master is so B C D E and there was another point here. There was another point. This is a point. This is a point. This is a point. Is this a point? No, this is not a point, but this is a point. This is a point. This is a point. This is a point. And this is a point. Yeah, there's another point here. Take note here is not a point. I'm not right. There's, there could be a graph that they will say that maybe that part should also be a point, but in this particular case, there's no point there so it's just like the line cross like this one going to accra this one to go into accra but at the point in town is they will cross so it doesn't mean that place is also another town so that is not the whole thing so now this is the graph we have to describe and the key things yeah, let's change the background the key things we have to know the number of edges the degrees and then the vertices the type of graph so one this is type of graph it's a simple graph and you have to state why it's a simple graph no self loop no parallel nothing parallel no self loop and nothing parallel so it's a simple graph then um we have number of vertices 
So let's label them. We have um okay E then here has to be F, we are not done, and then here has to be G, and then here has to be H. So then this is another point H H I. So the number of vertices we have A to I. So A B C D E F G H I. So then that should be nine. So number of vertices that is nine. Number of edges, lines, that is edges. So H to G is one, F to E is two, E to D is three, A to I is four, D to C is five, C to B is six, B to A is 7 and then A to D is 8 so we have um, number of edges we have 8 now the degrees how at any point how many lines comes to that point and uh, don't forget that should be the vertex degree function Vertex degree function, and then you draw your table nicely. You just you press control so that it will be straight line. So something like this, and then so so this part is the vertex. And then we have the degree here. Let's push it down a bit. Let's see if we can get it right. So, so we have it this way. <coughs> so we have our edges or the vertices. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, to I. So that's it. Ah, uh, good afternoon. Ah, uh, please, Anthony, uh, Stanley. Ah, uh, good afternoon, Mr. Kaunda, please. Uh, I want to send some file to you if I can get your mail. Okay. Okay. My number one zero nine. Yes. Yeah. I want to test. Uh no, let's normal test. Yes. Zero two three four eight zero nine zero one zero three four eight zero nine zero one zero. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we have now the degrees for A. How many lines at A? We have one, we have two. So for A, A is two. B, B is two. C, C is two. D, D is three. E, e is two. E is three. One goes to D, one goes to I, and one goes to F. Three. F. Is one remember the other side of the F it doesn't lead to any point so you don't factor that it's only the point that goes to E that you have to factor so F is one and then a uh, G G there is only line one only one so and then H2 is only one 
and then i2 is just one so that is it and then if you sum everything how many are we getting so, ta. hey what did i what did i write c is two and i wrote c so let's take eraser and then clear this off then that one is also two So that is it. So the total 2 by 3 says plus 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 6, 9, 12, plus 4, 16. So the total is 16. So that is that is it for the vertices. You've seen the it's a simple graph, the number of vertices, the number of edges, the graph function. Then now we go to the set of vertices, and then that is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So that is it, the set of vertices. The next is the set of edges. So that, that could possibly be long. So set of edges. So we have A B B C C D D A We have D A, we have D E, we have E F, we have E I, and then we have G H. You are just listing how they are connected. You are listing how they are connected. So that is that is basically it. These are the set of edges. These are the set of edges. These are the set of edges. So basically, we've, we've described a graph. It's a simple graph, nine vertices, eight edges, and then this. The degrees are. There's a pattern. I don't know if you've realized it. All the degrees we are getting, they are all even numbers. Take note of that. All the degrees we are getting, they are all even numbers. All the degrees we are getting. They are all even numbers. All the degrees we are getting. This one right there is even number. Let's see a quick one. If um, let's say if you do something like this, this has a degree of two, 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 two. So if you join everything, that's five. So two times five, ten. That is even number. If it's triangle, if it's triangle. All the vertices have two, so that is six. That's even number. If it's square, the same thing is even number. Uh, like whatever you draw, whatever you draw, the sum of the degrees will give you an even number. If you check this one. Here is A. Let's say here is B. Here is C. Here is D. Here is E. So if I'm to join them, A. A degree is 2. B. B is 1. 
C. How many lines come to C? Four. So C is four. How many lines go to D? D is one. D is one. How many lines go to E? And then E is also one. So E is one. And if you join everything, you have to get uh, two, three, seven, eight, nine. is two no d is two two lines comes to d so d is two so if if everything that is three plus seven plus then that, that gives ten so there is no way you plot a graph like you write a graph you add the degrees and the degrees will not give an even number definitely you get an even number even with an isolated vertex. Uh, for example if here was a point when that comes with degree zero it is not connected to any other it's degree zero so if you even add that one as uh, e, B, C, D, e, F, let's say that is f that will approach a degree of zero which doesn't achieve the, the figure so for graph when you add all the degrees you have to get it uh, how do you call it an even number this is a very important concept and that leads us to something called hand shaking rule hand shaking rule and the hand shaking rule says that if you divide the sum of the degrees you will get the number of edges that graph has if you add all the degrees for all the vertices you will get and divided by two i'm sorry uh, no i know that yet. and divided by two you will get the number of edges in that graph so let's add everything here we are getting 10. i see the message not yet. Okay, thanks. I've deleted the SS message. So if you divide, you get five. So this the total is ten. The rule hands the hands shaking the If you divide the sum of all the, the degrees of all the degrees of the vertices and divide by two, you get the number of edges the graph has. Very importantly. So once you get the degree, the sum of all the degrees, there's no need to go around calculating, like checking the number of edges one by one again. Once you get the degree, then you can always get a number of edges. So taking this one as example, degree is 10. So if you divide by 2, then that means you are going to get 5. So let's see if it's right, the edges. So a set of edges, we have um, A, C, A, B, no, A, B, C, B, C, E, C, D, C, D, and then D, A. So that is different, that is five lines. So that is all five lines this is one two three four and then five that is a degree divided by two and no it should always be an even number the sum of your degree should always be an even number and when you divide it by two that should be the number of edges 
that means your edges is always twice the sum of your degrees your edges is always twice the sum of your degrees that is exactly what the hands rule shows. it should be an even number so the hands rule goes this way the you know the summation of your the, the degrees of the vertices so you are going up to the number of vertices you have you are starting from your first vertex i is equal to one so the summation starting from if it's if the the graph has 10 vertices then the end will be 10 starting from one so the summation of the degrees let me let me get this on another sheet so we have the summation of your vertices the number of vertices starting from one that is i is one the degree so the degree of your vertices all the vertices it should always give you even number and that number when you divide it by two it should give you um, It's always twice your edge. That number is always twice the number of edges you have. So you want to get the edges, then you divide it. So it's always twice your edge. This is the handshake rule. This is the handshake rule. All your degrees, when you add them, the sum, with the value you get is always twice the number of your edges. So your edges is always, if you divide your degree divided by, by two, so let's say degree, degree divided by two, always gives edge. D, G, A. So that is basically what the, the hands wish. Uh, the handshake will you see that it helps a lot so that in your graph not only they have to go and count once you get a number of degrees the sum of the degrees of the vertices not a number of degrees like the sum of all the degrees of the vertices if you get and you divide by two then you get it that way so if we come back to this one we've gotten the total to be 16 so divided by two that gives eight that means this graph has eight edges and then we can do the count <coughs> so this is an edge that is h2 h to g is h1 here is two here is three here is four here is five here is six here is seven here is eight that's it remember there is no point here just like how two rows can cross and there's no town there that is what this concept means so basically that is it and it's a rule that that you, you have to get at the tip of your finger your, your your fingers because the next thing we'll be looking at we'll be making use of that rule a lot a lot <coughs> so that is it i think this is where the one ended oh is it? no the first week not the day one first week september first it is also September 1st. Hey, no, really? No, the, the first week was, the first day was pretty quick. Yes, first day was pretty quick. And then, so I think this, the next day will be the last. Really last. So, the next big thing we have to look at is uh, special graphs. There are different, different types of graphs. You know, we've been able to categorize it into simple and then, um, how do you call it? more and then what makes it simple is uh, remember that always when you say the type of graph don't forget to add the reason if you say it's simple you say it's simple because it has no loop and it has no para and if you see if it has para you say it's a multi graph and if it has loop self loop is a multi if it has both it's still a multi so don't forget to 
list those ones so the next one we have to look at is types of graph special types of graph not just type of graph yeah special types of graph special types of graph and then there is one um, there is cycle there is cycle there is cycle let's see something like this 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 and I think even this download an update this one bam, 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 bam. which one again yeah. all these are special graph and the reason is simple all the vertices have degree of two for all the vertices there are two lines coming there so if I have a B C D this is a this is B this is C this is T this is E this is a this is B and then this is C is it? now I want to do a pattern graph function for let's call this one uh, one graph one graph two and then graph three so I want to do fetish degree function that is the table we normally draw for graph one you realize that a will have a de degree a is two degree a is two degree b is two degree c is two If you see this experience in all the vertices, then it's a cycle. A special type of graph called cycle. A special type of graph called cycle. That's all the degrees are two. It's just two, 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 two. There's a special type of graph called cycle. <coughs> so that is it for cycle and if you have this let's see let's try and get the number of degrees uh, the vertices so this is a cycle of four points then you say c4 a circle of four points so you write it c4 this is one two three a b c d e you need to get f here So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a circle of six vertices. So this is C six. This is a circle of three vertices. So you see C three. So that is that is it for circle. Like if you want to get the degree, remember that sum of the degree. If you want to get the sum of the degrees, remember each degree has two. Each degree is two, just like we've done here. Each degree for all these types, each degree is two. So if you want to get the total for the other degrees, you just have to multiply two by the number of vertices you have because you know each vertice is two. So if the vertices are ten, you just multiply it by two because you know each one has two degree. So sum of the degree is always twice the number of vertices you have on which the number of vertices is mostly denoted by n 
that is it. Mm. So if the vertices are four, then the degrees will be eight. Because each vertex will give you four, so the degrees will be eight. If the vertices are ten, then expect the degrees to be twenty. If the vertices are five, the degrees will be ten. If they are eight, degree will be sixteen. If it's hundred, the degrees will be, the sum of the degrees will be two hundred. Just because each vertex has two degrees. If you look at this, there are two lines leading to A or moving away from A. The same B, two lines, the same C, two lines, the same for D to the same. This one to the same, two lines. This one, two lines. This one, two lines. So for all circles, for all circles, each of the vertices <coughs> has a degree of two. And to get the sum of the degrees, you get uh, twice the number of vertices you have. And remember the handshake rule. Handshake rule says this should be equal to even. And that is it. No matter what you get even. If it's two, you get four. If it's three, you get six. If it's four vertices, you get uh, eight. If it's five vertices, you get ten. The sum of the degrees. And when you divide that two and by two, you get the number of edges. Remember that that is the handshake rule. The sum of the degrees of the vertices should give you an even number. And that even number, if you divide it by two, you get the number of edges. So if we have gotten the sum of the degrees to be two n, then when you divide it by two, you will get the number of edges that uh, that graph has and 2n divided by 2 is the same as n <laughs> which is the same as the number of vertices the graph has so for a circle the number of degrees is the same as the number of vertices what that means is you know we have the vertices to be 1 2 3 and then 4 the same way we have edges to be 1 2 3 and then four if we come here we have the vertices to be um, i think five that eight f uh, five the same way edges to be five the lines connecting them will be five so that is a property of a circle the number of edges is the same as the number of vertices and is each each uh, each vertex has a degree of two that is for a cycle and if there are four vertices then that means uh, it's cycle of four. It's a special type of graph called cycle with four vertices. So that is it for uh, a, a cycle. That's one type of special graph. <coughs> um, have I jumped? Yeah, I think I, but it, it's, it, it doesn't matter. There is, there is another type of special graph still on the special graph. But I think he treated the one I'm about to say first, but it doesn't change anything. There is another type of graph called um, another type of special graph called um, is a complete graph. Complete graph. If you say graph is complete, what you basically mean is each vertex is connected to all the other vertices. Each vertex is connected to all the other vertices. Each vertex is connected to all the other vertices. So let's see a typical example. If I have this <coughs> as a graph, we have A, B, C, D. One we know is a simple graph. We know is it's a circle, yeah, a circle of four. That's four degrees. So no, um, four vertices. So a circle of four. You know, each has, uh, and since for a, gra a circle, the number of degrees, the number of vertices, is the same as the number of edges. Then you know the edges will also be four, and the the total for the degree, the sum of the vertices, the sum of the degrees of the vertices, will give you. Um, 
two n and the n is in this case four so that would be eight complete graph says every vertex should be connected to every other vertex you know what vertex is a point so every point should be connected to every other point so this is a point this is a point this is a point this is a point a is connected to b a is connected to a is connected to d a is connected to b a is connected to c no a is not connected to c so this graph is not complete every point should be connected to every other point in the graph then the graph is complete in this case a there is a line from a to d there's a line from a to d there's a line from a to c a, a to b but there is no line connecting from a to c so the graph is not complete so what do we do now let's link that up so now we can say a is connected to b a is connected to c and then a is connected to d so that is for a now let's go to b at b b b is connected to a b is connected to c but b is not connected to d so the graph is still more complete so what do we do let's connect it so let's go to c c is connected to b c is connected to a c is connected to d if you come to d d is also connected to all the other vertices in the graph so finally this graph is complete so this is complete graph and remember it's no more a circle it's no more a circle because the degrees the vertices don't have degree of two so it's no more a, a circle <coughs> so this is a complete graph and remember like i said rows can cr cross it doesn't mean there is a town there so here is not a point if it is a point they will tell you but if there is nothing there to show that it's also a point then they are just crossing that is that is it so this is a, a graph uh, the symbol for graph the complete graph is k k that is k of how many vertices this is the graph k of how many vertices four vertices so this is k4 graph this is k4 graph it's a graph that has four vertices and it's complete and it's complete before because all the vertices are connected to every other vertices now if i take this one okay, this light is just going up and down now if can you guess is this complete or not graph complete or not let's see a is connected to every other vertex in the graph the same way b is connected to every other vertex c is connected to every other vertex so this is also a complete graph and the, the, the symbol for complete graph is k so we have k3 now I have this A B C D E and then F A is connected to F A is connected to D but A is not connected to E, A is not connected to D, and then A is not connected to C. So if you want to make this graph a currently as it is, it's a circle, it's a cycle. 
the cycle of um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is C six. And by the rule of C six, the formula for C six, the number of vertices for a cycle is the same as the number of edges. That means the, the, the vertices are six, the edges are also six. And the degree is always twice the number of edges, or like the number of vertices. That is because each vertex has two degree. That is the number of lines coming to that. So that is it. So this um, this is C six. Now, if you want to make this graph complete, each vertex, each point should connect to every other point. So to achieve that, we stand here. We should connect to this. You should connect to this. You should connect to this. Remember, the rule is every vertex should connect to every other vertex, not just one vertex. All the vertices should connect to all the other vertices, like many to many, something like that. So this should also connect to all the other vertices. This should connect to all the other vertices. If I come here, this should also connect to all the other vertices. This should connect to all the other vertices. This should connect to all the other vertices. So now the graph is complete. The graph is now complete. The graph is now complete. Now, so let's see if we can. Remember at the beginning I said, every graph you are looking at you are interested in the number of edges number of vertices and then the number of degrees these are the three things you are looking at and from series of the graphs if you look at you've come to establish a pattern that once you're able to get a sum of the degrees you always if you divide it by two then you've gotten the number of edges that is that is it so let's try and drive a formula and we did a we did we got a formula for if it is a circle you know each vertex has a degree of two so when you multiply that by the number of vertices you get a number of degrees and for a circle it's straightforward the number of vertices is the same as the number of degrees so for a complete graph <coughs> let's see what we can do mm. Trying to get to see a pattern in it. See something. Eh? <coughs> this is K3. And you realize each vertex has a degree of 2. This is K4, that means it has four vertices. And remember each C. B has this, 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 that's three. This, 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 three. This, 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 this. So all the vertices for K4 have degree of three. So degree of three for all the vertices. Now, if you come here, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So A has connection to one, two, three, four, five. B has connection to one, two, three, four. So you can modify the rule. Every in the complete graph, every vertex connects to all other vertices except itself. Because it has connected all the other vertices except itself. So this also has each of the vertices had degree of five. And what pattern do you see? This number of vertices is six, each has degree of five. This one is four, degree is three for each. Three degree is two. So the degree for each is always the number of vertices minus one the degree for each is always the number of vertices minus one the degree for each 
is always the number of vertices which is c6 minus 1 so degree for each is number of vertices minus 1 so that is n minus 1 that is for each for each so if i have 10 vertices i'll just multiply it by 10 to get a total number of uh, vertices if is 20 i'll just multiply it by 20. if i don't know then i'll say n to so the n will represent uh, how do you call it the n will represent the number of edges so if this one uh, n times n n times n is that 2 n or n squared so 2 n minus n n minus n is that right so you can factor n minus n. okay let's test it and see so a total for edges so let's say if n is 3 then you'll have 2 times mm -hmm. n for n that is vertices is equal to 3 you will have um, n is 3 so we have 3 minus 1 times 3 and then that gives um, 2 6 then for n is equal to 4 you will have 4 minus 1 times 4 so then that gives this is 3 times 4, that gives 12. Then we have um, 6. For n is equal to 6. We have um, 6 minus 1. We have 6 minus 1 times 6. So then that gives 5, that gives 30 degree 30 yeah so for the triangle this one is complete 2 to 6 that one is correct now if you come 4 12 to 3 3 3 times 4 and that's it then if you come to 6 so that is 30 so here is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 5 times 6. Then that's 30. So the formula is right. And uh, it can cater for all other uh, complete graphs. Or other complete graphs. So um, degree is always yes, 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 yes. So that that is it <coughs> that is it it is correct it's correct and remember the hand shaking rule once you've gotten the number of degrees it's easy to get the number of uh, vertices you will just have to divide the sum the vertices of the degrees by two so for to get the edge the total edge in the graph it will be that is the sum of the vertices of the degree which is n minus one or just for presentation sake we just say n i'm just bringing the n to this side so n minus one then all this one divided by two so once you get a total you divide the total by two then you get the number of edges <coughs> So this is also the formula for getting the total degrees, the sum of the total degrees of all the, of the vertices. For a circle, it was just 2n, but for a complete graph, 
this is it n into bracket n minus 1 and that is that is it for <coughs> that type of special graph we've done circle we've seen special um, we've seen complete graph yeah we've seen complete graph we've seen special graph and then we've seen a uh, wheel so we are to look at a uh, wheel and that is also called w the symbol is w you no know, wheel yeah uh, wheel like no uh, wheel something like that the key note is wheel wheel will also always cycle plus one vertex and that one vertex connects to all the other vertices other vertices in the in the cycle wheel is it begins with a circle so if you have a circle and you introduce one point one vertex and that one vertex now connects to all the other vertices then you form a wheel so let's see what that means we know this is a circle it's a circle because the number of edges is the same as the number of degrees and each of the vertices has a degree of two and to get the total we know the total um, degree is twice n because each one gives two so twice n so this is uh, let me draw it well this is a circle if i want to turn this into a field i will just introduce another vertex in it and that's all so i'll introduce a vertex in it and remember the rule that is one more vertex i've introduced Pla that is plus one vertex so that is it here we have a circle of a b and then c and then now we are introducing another point called d and that one that particular one connects to all the other vertices connects to all the other vertices so what we are going to do it connects to all the other vertices we are only following the english so we are going to connect it to all the other vertices that is a wheel we are done if it was a square the same way you introduce a point or a vertex and then that additional vertex will connect to all the other vertices all the other vertices That is it. If this is not a wheel, then it's not. A, if this is not a point, then it's not a wheel. It's, it only becomes a wheel if this is a point. If not, it's just like the two rows crossing. So this is it. And if is this, the same way, you will introduce additional point in it. And then this will now connect to it. This will connect to it. This will connect to it. This will connect to it. And then this will now connect to this. Take note this time around, this point is a, this location is a point. So this is a wheel.
a circle and then you introduce uh, a point in it and that point connects all other points in in the in the out uh, the other vertices in the graph <coughs> so that is that is it for the heel remember what we are interested in the number of edges the number of vertices and the total number of degrees and you know once you get the total number of the sum of the all the vertices or the, the sum of the degrees of all the vertices you just divided by two by the number of edges so now for all the fields see something we're trying to derive a formula for this too we have a we have b we have c we have d and then now okay so let's see something a b c d and then e so this is the additional one we introduce this is e So here is E. So this additional point will be F, and then this additional point will be D. So this is it. It doesn't matter. Check something. It doesn't matter. Which one is the best to draw this? Let's say here is a point, 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 and then here is a point. <coughs> this is a circle because each point has two degrees, the number of degrees is the same as if I introduce a point here, all these ones will connect to it, all these ones will connect to it. All these ones will connect it. All these ones will connect it. It doesn't matter the number of the points. All the points. You know, remember it was a circle. It's very important. Meaning each has a degree of two. When you introduce that additional uh, vertex in the middle. It, you know, because it has to connect to all the points, so the, all the points will now have a degree of three. That's the whole thing I'm trying to arrive at. All the original points there before you introduce, well, after introduction, they all have a degree of three. They all have a degree of three. They all have a degree of three after the introduce. After you introduce the 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 additional vertices that made the field. Before that, it was just a degree with degrees of two. When you introduce, it turns the degrees to three. The original one, it turns their degree to three. So, if you want to get the sum of the original ones, to get the total for each of the feel now get the sum for the original vertices and then add the degree of the new one the original one that made it as constant will always be three because there were two as a circle and you, you connect one to it again that will divide it and then to form three so to get the total total degree for the field get the total for the original vertices plus the degree for the new vertices that is the rule the original one now they all have degree of three 
So if they are four, that is three, three, three up to four. If they are five, three, three, three up to five. If they are six, three, 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 three up to six. If you don't know, you see n. So the degree of the original will now be three n. But each one will have three to the number of vertices. Then you add it to the degree of the new one. Now see something. For a triangle, the degree is one, two, three. For this one, the degree is one, two, three, four. This one, the degree is one, two, three, four, five. Because so the, because the vertices are five, it has to connect to all of them. If the vertices are four, to connect to all the four. If they are three, to connect to all the three. So the new one you are introducing, the number of degrees it has is the same as the number of vertices your graph has because it will connect to all the points. So the total will be plus n. That is all. So this is the number of the sum of the vertices of the graph of the wheel is 3n plus n. After introducing that additional point, each of the vertices will now have 3 degrees. So if they are 10, there's 3 times 10 before the one you introduce in the middle. That one will connect to all the vertices. So if the vertices are 100, then that, that, then that one comes with a degree of 100. So that is it. This is the... Five. We have this for... Uh, degrees. This is sum of degrees. This is sum of degree. Sum of degree is equal to this. And from the handshake rule, that should always give you an even number. And when you divide that by two, you get your edges. So edge. Edge will now be three n plus n all divided by two. So this is the formula to get the sum of the degrees for a wheel, and then this is the formula to get the number of edges of that wheel. Wheel, a special type of graph. You get it in or originally is a circle. And you have to know what makes it a circle. It has it all has three degrees. And it also talks about the vertices being adjacent to each other, but um, I think if the degrees are two, 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 it, it, it qualifies as, as a circle. So this is also for a, a, a shield. A shield. So this is W3, that is of three vertices. This is W4, that is a field of four vertices, and this is W5, that is a field of five vertices. That is it for this one too. We've seen spe three special graphs, we've seen a circle, we've seen a complete graph, and then we've seen a quill. That is it for this one. So let's see this one. Uh, the la <coughs> friendship. We get to friendship. Uh, then by factor, friendship by factor, and then star. Friendship by factor, and then some regular stuff and other things. So the next one is friendship. Another type of graph. Friendships, they are copies of C3. And that is all. So if you know what C3 is, you can easily know what a friendship is. Like you can work your way around it. <coughs> you know C3. C means cycle. 3 means it has 3 vertices. That is all. So 1, 2, 3. So A, B, C. This is C3. A cycle with three vertices. 
And one since it has three vertices, it has three edges. And the sum of the degrees is two and well, each of the vertices has two. So if the vertices are 10, then that will be 2 times 10. If they are 20, 2 times 20. That is, that is all for the cycle. So once we've gotten that, now, if I do this, this is C3. If I do something like this, can I rotate this? This is another C3. This is another C3. I'm going. If I have this, can I rotate it? This is another C3 I'm going. So you see copies of C3. That is what it means. These are copies of C3 copies of C3. These are copies of C3. So this one to the same thing we are knowing how to calculate the sum of all the degrees. And once we get that, we can get divided by two to get the number of vertices, to not number of edges the, the graph has. So now let's think around this also. Well let's start with two. So it's no problem. Whichever way we should get a formula for it. Remember they are copies of C3. Um, what is the sum of the degrees of a circle? It's 2n. So if I have n copies. If I have n copies, or like k copies, then that would be plus k. This is a logical formula, but there's a problem. You know, when they join, they share a common point. When they join, it's like they sacrifice one point. So let's see how we can go about it. So we are trying to get a pattern on it. So if you look at here, there are three. Let's see three copies. Let's see three copies. And for each copy. No, the, the copies are circles, so they should, because each of the copies should have a degree of 2. So, here is 2. Here is 2. And then here is 2. The, the formulas are there. You can just find them online and then choose them. But, but, but you want to try and see how we can drive them. That means we have an understanding of the concept. So we have three copies. Let's see. Okay. 
Merci pour les BTC. I think each of the circles will have three C3. For C3, each of the vertices has there are three vertices, but in this case, they are sacrificed on one. So each will now have two. Something like this. A. B. Here should have been C. This is another one. So A. B. Then that will also be C. Then we have uh, A. Then B. Then C. So this is how it's supposed to be. So it's like they all bring one point to to, to join. That is that is it. So the number of vertices to be two, two, two. So the number of copies for each of the copies to have two. That is minus the one they sacrifice. So each of the copies will have two so if the copies are 10 that is 2 times 10 if it's 20 that is 2 times 20 if it's 30 if it's 30 we don't know so 2 times n that is 2n the number of vertices plus one of the vertices they sacrifice that's the midpoint so plus one so for uh, a friendship of three copies this is K3, friendship no F3, as in the symbol of friendship is F3. So this is F3, that means a friendship of three copies of C3. So let's see. If it's three, then that means for three we have two times three plus one. The number of vertices. So we have is that it 12 13 yeah, is that right the number of vertices no how, how come i got this if it's three we have two times three plus one is again bracket there's six plus one seven so the vertices are one Two, three, four, five, six, and then the central one seven. So the formula is correct. So if you want to get the sum of the vertices, this is what you are getting. But it's not the sum of the vertices we have to divide by two to get the number of edges. It's the sum of the degrees. Good. So when we have this. And I'm sure it will work. For example, if you take this one out, if you take this one out, you have one, two. If you take that out, you have one, two, three, four, five. So, if it's of degree two, two of two copies, if it's of two copies of uh, C3, that will be two times two plus one. That's the same as five. So, this formula is correct for. For the vertices the number of vertices and we now want to get for each vertice what is the number of degrees there the number of degrees there <coughs> so you realize each of the vertices this is the number of vertices 2n plus 1 the number of vertices is 2n plus 1 2 n plus 1 and each of these vertices except the middle one has a degree of 2 each of these vertices except the middle one each of these vertices each of these vertices has a degree of 2 that means 2 lines moving from or coming to that point 
so each of these vertices has it except the middle one the one where they made the joint so we have to take this one out and treat it special we are going to take this out and treat it special so if the vertices are 10 we are going to take one out to get nine and that nine each one has a degree of two it's automatic once because they affect copies of uh, c3 so no matter the copies you are going to sacrifice the middle one take that one out and treat it separately and just like in the wheel how we took away the middle part calculated the rest and then joined added the two to to get it so for this one we are going to take this one out this has to 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 so if the number of vertices we have is this we are going to subtract one from it and we've taken the middle one out and each of the remaining one has a degree of two whatever this the number of these vertices will give you has a degree of two so this should give the total number of degrees for this friendship minus the middle one minus the middle one <coughs> minus the middle one let's go back again you've seen why we have two plus one as You've seen why we have two plus one as a number of vertices. Let's do that again. It was in the number of vertices this has. You know, they are copies of C3, and C3 has three vertices. C3 has three vertices. But when they join, they all throw away their one of their vertices and then they, they land on one common vertex. And that common vertex is the C3, this one this one so aside the middle point so we have one point here all the other vertices have um, of vertices of two all the other copies of the c3 has vertices of two so this one has two vertices this has two vertices a and b this has two vertices a and b so if the copies are 10 then each will have two if the copies are 10 then each will have two so vertices then that will be if there are 20 each will have copies of two so we have two and plus the middle one that is the point c plus point c so this is the number of vertices for a friendship the number of vertices for a friendship and we tested this and realized it's working so now <coughs> these are the number of vertices but we want to get the degree at each vertex the degree at each vertex. the number of coming the number of lines coming to each of the points and you realize it's the same two the only problem is the middle one other than that this a is two lines coming there this b two lines this two lines so if I have copies, X number of copies, if I have vertices, they will all basically have two. All the vertices will have two. And this is the number of vertices. That is the formula here. So I'm just going to multiply that one by two because each will have uh, vertices. But remember, it's a set C. So let's take the C out first. That is why we have to do two N plus one. That is, if this gives us 10, they're going to take one out that means we've taken c out the common point they are converging we are taking that one out we've taken that one out the remaining each of the remaining has a degree of two so we multiply by two this is the sum of the degrees of the vertices minus the central one that's the one we've taken out here because that one doesn't have a degree of two so we've taken that one out and then we've gotten this for the sum 
we are now going to add that one plus how many degrees does it have you know it has twice the number of copies well each copy will bring two lines each copy will bring two lines each copy will bring two lines each of the uh, cycle the C3 will bring two lines so it has twice the number of copies so that should be 2n plus 2n plus 2n so that is, that is it yeah, if I'm to rearrange this one well, I'll say 2n plus these two will come to the front, then 2, then into bracket, 2 into bracket, 2, what is it? This is 2n plus 1. There is 1 here. So we have 2n plus 1 minus one so this should be the formula this will be the formula for calculating sum of degrees of all the vertices of friendship this is the formula and once you get this degree the sum of the degree if you divide it by two Time the whole of this divided by two, then you will get the number of edges. Then you get the number of edges. So this is also for the friendship. You just copy of C3, and each C3 ideally is supposed to have three vertices, but they sacrifice one vertices to form that common point. They, they, they will use so. If we take this one out, that is F N. So, and then we have um, edges for F N will be just a top there. This one plus two. Then we have two N plus one minus one. I need more brackets divided by two. Whatever answer you get, the three divided by two, then that will give you the number of edges for the friendship. Okay. That, is, that is it for friendship. That is. So there is a there is this thing here. He has drawn a friendship with two um, copies of C, and that's two copies of C. It asks him what is the number of edges and then what is the number of vertices. So vertices, that is the formula for vertices at the and this is the formula for the sum of the degrees. And once you get the degree, you can put the vertices. So you just have to divide it by two to, to get the vertices. <coughs> so that is it. Mm -hmm. There is also bipartal. Bipartal basically is uh, Two sets of graph. Two sets of graph. And every two sets of graph and every sorry for disturbing you. It's not disturbing. Yeah. The madam is calling you. The the audience. Right, I says you can't connect there. They are asking for password and stuff. We've given them the password a lot. I, I, I hear. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, the other one is bipartal. Bipartal, like two sets of graph. Two sets of graph. Bipartal. By pattern, two sets of graph. Let's say you have point A, point B, and then point C. 
then we also have another set of graph that's point a point b point b point m point what 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 so if it this is graph one <coughs> and this is graph two <coughs> The vertices in the graph A are not connected to themselves. They are connected to the vertices in graph 2. And the vertices in graph 2 are also not connected to the vertices in graph A. Something like this. This can connect to this. What have I done? This can connect to this. 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 This, this can also connect to this. This can connect to this. This can connect to this. You know, one set connecting to the other set, but take note. This cannot connect this. This cannot connect to this. There's no connection here, and there's no connection here. That is by pattern. Two sets, this can connect to multiple ways into this this can also connect different ways into this but within themselves they can't because like um, he gave a typical example like let's say if these are students if these are students and you want to connect them to their courses yeah so student can have course a course b course c course d but you can't say student has student student has to that doesn't make sense that is just all for by pattern and then there is a star you know we have a circle cycle we have a wheel we have a complete there's also a star there's also a star a complete total yeah star comes from by pattern star comes from by pattern if you have understood this by pattern then that is it if here there is only one component then that is it it makes it a star it connects here it connects here it connects here or so just two or three or all then it makes it a star <coughs> it's a star because there is only one component A or like one vertex in one of the set. It could turn the other way around. There could be just one course here and then many students. Then that is a star. That is all. And that is all. For this. Then um, There, there is another uh, category of graph like called regular graph regular under the special graph there is also a regular graph and then um what well, makes a rough graph regular you can see the examples he gave Yeah, I think it has to do with the degrees. Degrees. If the graph, if all the vertices have one zero degree, if the, all the vertices have zero degree, then it's called zero zero regular graph. If all the degree, if all the vertices has degree of one, then it's called one regular graph if all the vertices has degree of two then it's called two regular graph if it's three three regular graph if it's four four regular graph a typical example of zero regular graph is something like this this assuming this is a point this is a point this is a point 
if they like the no lines connecting them, no edges connecting them, then it's they are of zero regular because they all have zero degree. If um, you do this point, you do this a point and you connect it, there is one line. Both points have degree of one. There's just one line connecting them. So that is one regular graph. If you draw triangle something like this, they all have degree of two. So that is two regular graph. So if you do this, it's still two regular graph. So they all have okay. So it falls at, this is also a circle. And if I do something like this, this will be now be a three regular graph. Because they all have a vertices of degree of three. Here it's just a cross, it's not a point. If I make it a point, this can be a regular graph because this point has different degrees of uh, of vertices i'm not sure of that statement <coughs> but the example i've seen all they all have the same number of degrees for all the vertices so that is that is the the grounds on which i said that <coughs> So that is it, I think, for, for the first week. <coughs> have to go to break. Mm -hmm. Basically, that is it for the whole thing. So if right from um, what graph is, you just take note. Graph can have zero edge, but it can have zero vertices. So if the other is graph, it's just a set of vertices and a set of edges. The vertices at least should be one, but uh, edges can be zero. And it just graph. It just graph. And you don't like how to work a graph. Like <coughs> if you are working any line, you can pass there twice or three times. Any vertices you can visit several times, then that is the work. If you can visit the vertices any number of times, but a line can just be one, then that becomes a trail. If the start and end of your trade, then that becomes a circuit. If you can visit every vertice once, every edge once, then it becomes a path. And if the start and end of your path are the same, then it becomes a cycle. A, a cycle. So basically, those are some of the traversers you can do in the graph. And you know, graph is uh, directed or not directed. There is an arrow, no arrow. Mm. The, I think that was the second week, so we will go to to that to in another video. Well, hope it's helpful. Have a nice read, well, a, a nice watch. <laughs>